Welcome to this video on Fasted Search, where we are going to look at what Fasted Search is and the benefits of it. Fasted Search shows you the results like a normal search from Google or Yahoo, but with a list of options to filter your search further. The list of options will show at a glance the number of results the users can expect when selecting that option. The filters can be applied in any order, so there is no strict hierarchy, although a hierarchy can be added if that is the desired effect. The users can also remove any filter at any time. This is built using Solar, which is using Lucene's search engine, both of which are open source technologies. The demo will show Fasted Search implemented into a Sitecore CMS site. This is a search results page for the term academies. As you can see, the first page is showing the first 10 results of 350. The results have a similar feel to Google Search, with a title, summary and footer. We can show any amount of data that is required. The first result here is showing no footer and is in fact a boosted result. We wanted this result to appear at the top of the list for this search term. Down the left hand side of the page you can see two groups of links, type and audience. These are the facets. Selecting one of these links will filter the search query further to include results that match that option. You can see from the number next to the link how many results will be shown, so for general article you will receive 261 results. So now we only have 261 results, you can now see more facet options. This is configured within Sitecore for this particular site, so different content types have different options. For example, the speech content type will show you a list of speakers. If the results don't contain any data for the facet, the facet list won't appear, so you won't see any lists with zeros after them. This option is also configurable, so you could remove all the options where there is only one result. You can select any other facet now, so let's select the year group year 7 to receive two results. Now let's select the audience teacher. We now have one result and no facets as there are no more options to filter on. Above where the facets were is a list of the filters that have been selected. If you click the cross next to the filter, this will remove the options and provide you with the updated results so you could choose another option. Let's remove the year 7 filter. We now have 63 results and some facets to choose from again. Selecting the clear all option will return us back to the initial search page where we started with. The order of the facets group is configured within Cyclical, so although we have type followed by audience, we could change the order to put audience first. We can also change the order of the options within the facets. By default the order is the largest results first. We can configure these to be alphabetical or bespoke. If we select the speeches facet, you can see that Michael gave us two speeches as do the others. In the normal case, these would be listed alphabetically after size, but Michael Gove has been promoted to be first into the list. We also have the choose to remove options if you didn't want a particular option to appear. With Fasted Search, you still get the usual options of pagination, sorting. Here we have three sorts. Relevance, which is default, alphabetical ascending and date descending, although others can be added in. You'll also get the options for spelling suggestions, synonyms, stop words, etc. One other option that we haven't implemented into this site is the group date in date ranges. This will allow you to group articles together with fasted tags that say this month, last month, three months, etc. So to summarise, fasted search gives you the chance to provide additional filters to allow your users to improve their search criteria. They can see at a glance how many results will be returned for each facet. The users can add and remove as many facets as they like in any order to find the data they are after. You can configure which facets and the order to show for your data. The final point is, is it open source if this is what your business is looking for. There is a small community pushing for new functionality to improve the capabilities of Solar. A new feature that is due for release in the next version is geolocation search so that you can search and facet by location and distance from.